Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. So today we're going to learn another new interesting topics in artificial intelligence, which is a favorite topic in data searching as well and data structure. All right. So I hope this is just a, a good introduction to first year student and also a very good and useful um, recalling subject for those in the second year. Okay. So we in artificial intelligence, we need to know so how to search uh, within our memory. All right. So similar with the machine learning, uh, we need to know uh, how to search uh, through the rules and information that we already have in the knowledge base. Okay. So first terms that you need to know is a problem space. Okay. So pro uh, for every problems, okay, uh, as a human. We know what the bound, what are the boundaries for us to think about. For example, we have a problem about uh, this subject, KTC two o one three. For example, okay. So you know that uh, you can refer to your friend who took the same subject or the lecturer in the subject, and also other seniors if you know who already took the subject or any artificial intelligence uh, lecture notes available on the internet. Okay, so you won't find information about other subject to solve your problem in artificial intelligence. So that is the space that we know, the domain that or the scope that we know for this problem. So similar with any searching uh, problem, okay, so you, we need to know what are the space. This is what we call as an abstract space, what are the boundary, okay, and this uh, space uh, should tell us what are all the valid states. Okay, I will show to you later. Okay, so all the valid or all the possible solution uh, must be inside the problem space so it can be only one solution okay or sometimes uh, some uh, problem you have many solution to it okay for the problem space it can be represented by graph okay or using a tree okay so we look at this later okay let's just play a game first okay say we have a problem or this is one of the interesting problem always be an example in subjects okay we have water jug problem you have two jug three liter and four liter water okay both jug has no marking on the volumes okay and water sources are unlimited so you can refill as many times as you need to so what is the problem to solve to get two liter water that is our goal to get two liter water at the end all right so I cannot give you time now during the lecture. If you would like to try and solve this uh, before I give you any hint, you can pause uh, this video now. Okay. So the solution, okay, part of the solution is here. Uh, the first step, okay, this is because machine have to use step by step, right? Okay, the first step is, oops. Okay, the first step, we fill in a 3 liter jug of water. Okay, so the state now, okay, it should be the state here. Okay, the state or a current state. After you fill in the 3 liter jug, you have 3 liter uh, water in the 3 liter jug and 0 water in a 4 liter jug. Okay, so the next step, second step is pour the 3 liter water into the 4 liter jug. So the state at that current time, okay, in 3 liter jug you have 0 water and in 4 liter jug you have 3. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, what are the next steps? Okay, so the next step is we fill again 3 liter jug. Okay, to its maximum. Okay, so you can write here also, maximum. So, the state is you have 3 liter jug, you have 3 liter water. And in 4 liter jug, you have 3 liter water as well. Okay, number 4. Pour into the 4 liter jug. Okay. To its max. Okay. So what's left in three liter water? You have. Let's look at four first. Okay. In a four liter jug. Okay. Previously you have three liter water, right? So when you pour. 
add another uh, additional water to its maximum. So the 4 litre jug will have 4 litre water. So what's left in the 3 litre water? 3 litre jug. Okay, so previously it is 3 litre. Okay, you took 1 litre out to go into the 4 litre. So you will have 2 litre water. So you have reached the goal here. Okay. So we have reached the goal here with only four steps. Okay. So this is the way uh, to solve a problem. Again, all right. You can have another solution. So we will get back to this as a quiz. Okay. Next. So. Go back to the problem spaces now. What are problem space? Problem space is all the possible path uh, and solution to get into the possible solution. Alright. So this is in a graph notes. Okay. If you see graph, they have an inter uh, connection between the notes. Okay. From A you can go to B. From A you can go to C. From C you can go to B and D. And B you can come from A, C. And then you can only go one way out. That is to D. Alright. So if your goal is to go to D from A. Okay. Some of you might answer A, B, D. Some of you might answer A, C, B, D. Okay. Some of you will use A, C and D. Okay. So depending uh, what are your consideration at that time. If you want the fastest route, probably go A, B, D or A, C, D. Okay. If you want to visit all uh, nodes, you might go from A, C, B, D. Okay. Alright, this is uh, trees. Okay, they don't interconnect. Okay, there's only one way to go. So from A, you can go to B and also to C. Okay, similar with this. Okay, and from B, there's only one way to D. Okay, but from C, you can go to B and D. Okay, so it's similar representation. Okay, and then B, you only go to D. So if you search in trees, Okay, you can find this solution to go to D or another way as well. Okay, like this. Right. And then let's go to state. Okay, state is a representation of element at a given time. Okay, so similar with our uh, example just now, this is the state. What is the current situation at that time? After the steps taken, there must be a changes to the steps. Right. Okay, so we have initial state, final state uh, is the goal. Okay, what is your goal or ob objective or your search? Okay. Then, uh, change state. Okay, from one step to another state, uh, we need a successor function. So, this is where machine learning have to learn, okay, how to move from one point to another point. Okay, so usually if we say about function, you will remember about mathematical formula. Uh, the easiest formula is the linear. Okay, that is uh, B equals to MX plus C. Right. So that's one of the example of the formula. Then, uh, okay, what is the problem solution? It's a path from initial state to a goal state. If we, similar with what we have looked here, okay, from the initial state A to go to the goal state, you can have many solution. Okay, you can go here, or this way, or this way. You can all reach D. Okay, so that is a problem solution. So, which solution is the best? Okay, depending. Okay, what is, what do you need? Do you need a cheapest uh, function, meaning that maybe you want the shortest distance? Okay, or uh, maybe you want to visit all the nodes, as I said. Okay, so it depends on the problem and the solution. Okay, so what is actually search? Search is actually a systematic analysis of states to find a way from initial state to a goal state. Okay, so usually we do search because of lack of knowledge. We don't have a straight path uh, to the solution. Okay, we have to browse through all the knowledge that we have uh, to get into the answer. Okay, so what is the output of a solution? 
for a mathematical formula or for artificial intelligence, it's not the final output because usually we already know the final output. We just want to know how to go from the current state to the final state. So that's why the, the solution is passed from initial state to the goal state. Okay, so if you look back at our uh, example here, okay, this is important how to go okay from the initial state that is zero zero to finally we have two liter water in the jug okay uh, this is again example of three okay if you want to go from a to the goal notes okay j and n okay so from from for some problems any goal note n or j is acceptable for some other problem, you must meet only N or J. J. Okay. Okay. So, uh, we stop here first. Uh, let's do the first task. And then I will continue with the uh, uninformed and informed search. Thank you.